does the following series converge or diverge? So we have the sum as n goes from two to infinity of one minus one over n squared raised to the n cubed power. Now, this seems like an unlikely candidate for convergence. So let's see if it makes it past the limit test. So the idea is gonna be, we take the limit of our general term. If that doesn't go to zero, it automatically diverges. If it goes to zero, then we need to do more work. Now, rather than do all that work, let's just stick in a big number. So we'll take n equals 100 into our general term, see what comes out. So I go to the calculator, we crunch this out, and what comes out is gonna be a really small number. So here, the answer is inconclusive. We need to do more work. Now, if we take a look at the terms in our series, okay, you'll run them through all your tests. The one test that's gonna work is gonna be our root test. So what's the statement of the root test? We're gonna take the limit, okay, n going to infinity. We're gonna take our general term, take its absolute value, and then take its nth root. Okay, take a look at what comes out. If this limit is between zero and one, okay, our series converges absolutely. If our limit's bigger than one, then we're gonna have divergence. If it's equal to one, it's inconclusive, and we need to do more work. Let's set up our root test. So we'll consider our general term. We'll take its absolute value. 1 over n squared is a really small number. So 1 minus 1 over n squared is going to be close to 1. So it's positive. If we raise to the nq power, it's going to stay positive. Then I want to take the nth root. So that's raising to the power 1 over n. That's going to change our n cubed into an n squared. So now this is the item we want to take the limit as n goes to infinity. All right, before we do that, Let's stick in a big number just to get an idea of what comes out. So I'll use n equals 100. When we push it into the calculator, it's going to come out as roughly 0.368, and I recognize that as e to the minus 1. So that'll be a check for our work later on. Also note, this number is less than 1. So if this bears out, then we're going to have a convergent series. Okay, let's do the real work. Now, if we consider what happens when we take n going to infinity in here, note we're going to have this term goes to zero, so I'll have a one, this term goes to infinity. So we're looking at an indeterminate form, one to the infinity, so we're going to bring in L'Hopital's rule. Now, for this case, the way we're going to use L'Hopital's rule, I want to take our base, push it up into the exponent. So our rule is going to be, if we have base b, we can rewrite that as e to the natural log of b. Okay, e and natural log are inverse to one another, so that's a perfectly legit operation. Now, next step, note here, the only variable I have is an n squared. So instead of considering this with respect to n squared, I could sub out those n squareds with an n prime, and then we just consider this limit as n prime goes to infinity. If you think about it, Okay, here I'll consider n prime for all integers, where our original only considers the squares. So if I can get the limit to go with n prime, we'll pick up the squares for free. All right, so now I'm looking at this limit here, okay, and then we'll work this out on the side. What's gonna happen is the limit in our exponent is gonna go to minus one, and then our check is gonna pan out. So our series is gonna converge. Now, let's take a look at this limit here. Now, since e to the x is continuous, we could take this limit, just push it into the exponent. So we don't have to worry about the e for now. Okay, we're looking at this here. So my first step is, I wanna get the n prime out. So we're gonna just fit this to a function by replacing n prime with x. Now I can do some real manipulation. So my first move is gonna to be to set one over x equal to y. Okay, we couldn't do that with integers because one over an integer is not an integer, but we can do it with real numbers. Okay, when we do that, how do we change? Well, x is gonna to go to one over y, so we'll get a y in the denominator. Then we'll have natural log of one minus y. As we go off to infinity, that's gonna to change to y going to limit into zero from the right. 
Now that's not gonna matter because in this case, the limit from the right is gonna match with the limit from the left. So you can just take your plain old limit and it's still gonna give you the same answer. Okay, now we can use Le Hopital. If I put zero in here, we get zero over zero. So I'm gonna take the derivative of the top, derivative of the bottom, and then put zero in again. Derivative of the top, what do we get? I have a natural log here. So what we're gonna do is take the inside, flip it over, and then multiply by the derivative of the inside with respect to y. So it'll be minus one over one minus y. In the bottom, we're just gonna take the derivative of y with respect to y, so I get a one. When we put a zero in here, okay, what's gonna happen? We're just gonna wind up with a minus one, and then that's gonna go into our exponent up here. So everything works out. Here's another way to finish. So we have this limit here. Using a rule for natural log, if I have a number out in front, we can move that to the exponent of the inside. So we'll move my n prime over here. Then natural log is continuous, so we're allowed to move the limit to the inside. And then I'm worried about this term here. Now, this should be familiar from when you do limits with the natural log and the exponential function. So in this case, what do we have? Well, if I had a plus sign here, the rule is gonna be the limit as n goes to infinity of one plus one over n to the nth power is e to the one. In general, you're gonna have, if I take the limit as n goes to infinity, one plus a constant over n raised to the nth power, get e to the c. So in our case, we're gonna have c equals minus one. So what we're expecting to come out is gonna be natural log of e to the minus one the natural log at e cancel out to leave me with a minus one. So that, another check in our work.